I don't know where to look. Do I look at the fuzz ball? Sexy eyes? Mm. Mm. Oh, dude. Today, we're going out to Hollister to see Evan at Calavera and David, who owns that wild thing and did delivery and all the cutout. It's not a wrap, okay? It's not a wrap. Each, each color that you see, it's an individual layered sticker. So the white is the color of the car. Anyway, super wild factory. Get to know it. David and Tori did the wrap for our machine downtown, our machines downtown, and they are making one for Evan at Calavera in Hollister. Evan was a barista at Vertigo Coffee Roasters in San Juan Batista, and Evan's had this big dream of bringing specialty coffee to his hometown of Hollister. Hollister's a little town. The only reason I know about Hollister is because my brother used to go ride dirt bikes there because they got a big off-road park there. He's been chipping away at this, and finally they got a space in this garden shop, so they've been doing this pop-up in the garden shop, and I think this is their last week in the garden shop. Super proud of him. He's a really big inspiration because he's just someone who's been planning, saving away his own money, figuring out how to make it happen, and just pulled the trigger and just ran into it head first. So I'm hyped. How is this thing so low? Okay, the cat that David's talking to is James. James owns Method 7, and Method 7 makes eyewear specifically for grow rooms and aviation. So if you're working in a grow room and those lights are like messing with your eyes, you should check them out. Or if you're a crazy pilot, I'm, I'm neither of those, but sounds like a great time. James also has a really interesting story behind perhaps one of the most famous watches of all time, I'll put a link down below, but if you've heard anything of Paul Newman's Rolex Daytona that was inscribed by his wife, James had that watch for years and years and years, and it was a gift from Paul himself. Great, crazy story, it just sold for like $17.5 million, it's bananas. So Superwild did the graphics for James's Sprinter, and now they're doing something for his Macan, they're gonna turn it into this chase car for an air show that's going down, and I think this is really cool because you've got two kind of worlds that seem like they have nothing to do with each other. You got Super Wild is producing stickers and car liveries mainly in that 90s Japanese style just some of the craziest wildest shit you've ever seen and then you've got James who's got an eyewear company centered around two specific audiences and they're coming together and everyone just kind of it's this group thing this collaboration thing this is why I love coffee shops I guess is what I'm trying to say everybody met at the coffee shop that's how they know each other and in some way I feel like I can be part of this connectivity and I think that's freaking right Red. So, backstory. They'll call me if anything's up. Oh boy! Oh, what up? I, I don't want to disrespect I, no, the press no, last day. No, no, no. <laughs> I put this up here and didn't measure anything and it's exactly like it's like the same. Like that's where you put everywhere. it. <laughs> so this is a barista capsule? Barista capsule made barista by capsule manufacturing. Capsule manufacturing. So it's like a unit. Yeah. Can I come around? Absolutely, come on in. It's got onboard water. So we add more water you just open this guy up here, undo it, it has this. Oh. So you dump all the water in here. Panel for uh, all the electrical purposes so you don't get a blowout. Oh, so you can plug everything into here. Yep. And it runs off of 220, which you plug into anything. The pump's built in. Pump's built in for the the water, and this pump down here stores it. Is it an RO thing or no? No, it's no. Just, it stores the water for our pitcher rinser and our pitcher sprayer. So water pump, water so reservoir. Add, water reservoir, and then water pump for the espresso machine. Espresso pump. Yeah. And, and common pump. power. Yeah. That's sick. So if you do have a short, it'll shut everything off of the breaker, so that way you don't have basically a fried espresso machine or a POS system or anything. And we run all of our stuff through this. So yeah, I got a little knock box. The door. Capsule. And you're ready. Capsule. <laughs> Bro, 
bro. That's pretty wrecked. It looks, uh, I feel great. It's been a good day. It was slow at the shop, but it was all for a reason. So we could hang out with you guys. <laughs> Today was a perfect example of why you need to surround yourself with positive, motivated people. I had kind of a weird week. I was kind of weaving in and out of feeling really awesome and really kind of just meh. And going out, getting out of my routine, getting in the car with David, interacting with James, going to see Evan, all of those people have their own amazing energies around them. And just being around those people and building my day around those people for just one day greatly changed my mental state. And I'm going into the weekend feeling like a champ and I just, it comes from, from all angles. You've got David who's kind of in the same space as I am in our business journey. James who's been in business for a super long time. He could probably do whatever he wants but he wants to do these things that he's passionate about. And Evan, younger guy who in some ways looks up to people like me but on the flip side i'm really looking up to him because i'm just like man i wish i had it like you when i was that age the ability he saved thirty six thousand dollars of his own money over several years before he started his shop i never did anything like that that's that's amazing it's sorry i'm rambling right now but just i got a good energy vibe i'm trying to keep it all together maybe i can't keep it all together but Get outside your zone. Meet some rad people that are doing rad things. It'll inspire you. It's definitely inspiring me. And then maybe go inspire someone else. Stay dialed and I will catch you on the flip side.